Hello everyone, welcome back to Life of Clay for another sculpting video. Kenji here, your sculptor, and this time I will be making miniature grapes with three colors out of translucent polymer clay. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell icon to see more of my future sculpting videos. And also don't forget to like, leave your comments, and share it with your friends. So what are we waiting for? Come bring the clay on and let's pick some grapes. For this project, I will be using Sculpey Premo Translucent Clay, such a nice type of clay that produces succulent looks to a sculpture after being baked. Like my axolotl and blue ring octopus sculpture and this time, we will be using it in making miniature grapes. I decided to present to you these grapes in three different colors. So I prepared three thumb size ball of clay and add colors to them by using oil paints that I also use in painting portraits, scenery, and still life on canvas. And yes, another side of me as an artist. First, let's begin coloring the clay for the green grapes using cadmium yellow and permanent green light oil paints. I divided the clay into two to make two different hues, one that is pure green and yellow green for the other half. The intensity of color result of the cured clay may depend on the volume of oil paints you mixed in, so be careful not to over tint your clay or it may lose its translucency. Next, coloring the clay for the red grapes using cadmium red, burnt sienna, alizarin crimson, cadmium yellow, and ultramarine blue oil paints. Again, I made two different hues of it, deep red and a lighter red for the other half. Grapes are not only a delicious simple snack, but for thousands of years, they've been used in some cultures as medicine. Each of these small fruits is loaded with 1,600 compounds. Polyphenols is one of them, a good antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. Eating grapes gives lots of health benefits, it's strengthening the muscles and bones, cures asthma, prevent blood clots, reduce chances of heart attacks, prevent cavities, reduce acidity, prevents aging, prevents cancer, and any other health disorder. But be careful not to eat much when you're on a weight loss diet for they contain lots of calories and carbs too. And finally, coloring the clay for the black grapes using alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue, and black oil paints. I made two different hues of it too, dark and lighter one. In making wine, the fermentation begins when yeast consumes the sugar in the mashed grapes and converts it to ethanol and carbon dioxide that releases heat in the process. And some of the largest wine producing countries in the world are Italy, France, and Spain. And let us now begin forming the grapes starting with the green one. Cut a noodle of clay into small pieces and form them into oval shape by rolling each piece between your thumbs. I combine the two colors for some of the grapes and keep the others in solid color to create variation. I also form smaller grapes that can be used as ladies accessories that I will be showing to you as part of this tutorial. And same process is applied to the other grapes. After all the grapes are formed, place them on an earthen dish, dust with ground soap pastel of their respective colors. Check the description box below for all the soap pastel mix I use in dusting each grape. And in biblical history, wine is also being mentioned. After the account of the Great Flood, Noah is said to have cultivated a vineyard, made wine, and become intoxicated. And during the New Testament days, Jesus turns water into wine at the wedding feast in Cana and recorded as the first miracle done by him during his ministry. And there's also one event that Apostle Paul advised Timothy to drink little wine to ease its stomach illness. 
Grips propagation can be done in five different ways. Hardwood cuttings, greenwood cuttings, grafting, layering, and growing from seeds. And we can now put them in the oven to cure. For the stalks and vines, I use white sewing yarn and dry sack cotton twine that I have collected. I cut some yarn and tied them to the twine closely. And then I dip the twine into the acrylic paint mix of green, burnt amber, and burnt sienna. Then I transfer them into a plastic disposable plate and keep all the stalks separated, set aside to slightly dry and I also made extra vines for later use. And I tied more cut pieces of the painted yarn on the stalks to make them branchier. Adding greener paints to the stalks to freshen them up then set them aside to dry. For the leaves, I will be using this face mask. Of course, a fresh and a corona-free one. Trim off all the sides and discard the blue colored mesh. Paint the white colored filter with yellow and green paint acrylic mix and lay the other mesh on top of it to support the filter during drying. Cut the sheet into 2 cm strips and start cutting out each leaf. I stapled a clear silicone mat on this piece of plyboard, so cutting the leaf will be steady and easy. painting veins on both surface of the leaf using sap green acrylic paint. Then I brush them with a wash of yellow green paint to increase their saturation. And now all the parts are ready, we can now start assembling the grapes. Let's begin with the green one, and I use cyanocrylate glue in attaching them to the stalks. And to give these grapes the more realistic look, I drill hole in some of the fruit and insert them in some of the projecting stalks. And then attach the leaves on the upper portion of the bunch. And I also add small speckles of burnt sienna to some of the grapes indicating bugs bite and bruises. And to make them shine, I apply water-based gloss varnish. Next, assembling the red grapes and same procedure is applied all the way to the black grapes.
And next is assembling the much smaller bunch of grapes. Same procedure is also applied. And to turn them into earrings, I use this hook type of earrings. Insert the main stem of the grapes into the ring down the hook and loop it. Tie with olive green colored yarn to secure. And same procedure goes to the rest. And I apply a small amount of glue to fasten the nuts. And there the grapes earrings goes. Hope you like them and I would love to hear your thoughts, my dear ladies out there. And now it's time to build the base and vines of these three varieties of grapes. I use three pieces of 1mm stainless steel wires that I bind together using yarn. Then I bend each branch alternately. And I apply glue to fasten the wires. I wrap tissue paper around the wire up to its tip. And let's form the base using air dry clay and I added some texture on it using aluminum foil. I stick the trellis branch on top of it and saturate the paper with two parts clear resin. Then coat it with fine Arabian sand and set aside to cure. Now let's paint the base with titanium white and burnt sienna mix, adding highlights with the lighter version of this mix and painting the trellis branch with just burnt sienna. Let us now attach the vines to the trellis branch. I drill hole on the base, add glue and insert each end. Wrap them around the branch all the way up and secure them to the tip of each branch using glue. And then attach some leaves and brush them with gloss varnish. I also flock the base with grasses using my improvised static grass applicator to add more life into it. And finally, adding our grapes, trim and shape their main stalks into hook and saturate them with glue to make them stiff. and then hang them on the tip of each vine. Okay, so there we have it. Our realistic miniature grapes is finally done. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and may you find my techniques useful. And to be honest, making tutorial like this one is not that easy so by liking it, commenting on it, and sharing it makes this tutorial on top. And again, I would like to say thank you guys for all your support to my artworks and channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, it's not too late. Subscribe now and hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss out any of my future videos. Thank you again for watching. See you again next time. Ciao, amigo mio.